At the beginning of Dashai Festival, those temporarily residing in Kathmandu for education, employment or business have begun returning to their home districts. While most of them are enthused, many have grave answers related to complications in receiving tickets and exorbitant fares. Good morning, I'm Sarah Sapsanama and these are the headlines of the hour. It's the sixth day of Dashai Festival today. Devotees throng temples and shrines to pay offerings to Goddess Katyani. Election Commission expedites its activities as only 50 days remain till November 20 provincial and parliamentary elections. Ruling and opposition parties continue to mull over their poll strategies. UN Security Council fails to adopt a draft resolution condemning referendums in four Ukrainian regions. Russia vetoes the resolution while China and India abstain. England beats host Pakistan by eight wickets to level the seven-match T20I series at 3 all. Philip Salt scores an 88 not out in England's victory. It's the sixth day of the ongoing Dashai festival today. Temples and shrines dedicated to various forms of Goddess Durga have been crowded since early today as devotees throng the holy places to pray and make offerings to Goddess Katyani, one of the nine different forms of Goddess Durga. Goddess Katyani, the sixth form of Goddess Durga, is believed to be the slayer of a tyrannical demon of the Hindu mythology Mahisasura. She is also referred to as the warrior goddess. Some scripts have mentioned Goddess Katyani was created out of the spontaneous anger of gods. Apart from the Katyani temple in the capital, devotees have also been thronging to Guheshwari, Maiti Devi, Dakshin Kali, Kalika Stan, Shobha Bhagwati, Taliju Bhawani, among others. Now, with 50 days remaining, the Election Commission has begun printing of ballot papers for the November 20 parliamentary and provincial elections. So far, 150,000 ballot papers for the House of Representatives election have been printed, while the Commission has completed printing of 20,100,000 ballot papers for the provincial assembly polls. A total of 17,988,000 voters are expected to exercise their franchise in the nearing election. The Commission has given political parties till tomorrow to make last changes to the close list of proportionate candidates. The Commission has given permissions to 34 national and two international organizations for election monitoring. Meanwhile, the Commission has directed the National Land Commission authorities to put on hold distribution of land certificates to landless squatters, saying that such activity might influence voters. Political parties and candidates have all expedited legworks as the elections near. The ruling coalition, despite several rounds of discussion, has still struggled to settle the distribution of seats in the direct category, while the main opposition, CPN UML, is still seeking for a strong alliance partner. Despite the lapse of one and a half months, the special task force formed by the five-party ruling alliance to determine the election equation has yet to finalize the division of 165 seats at the lower house and 330 in the provincial assemblies. Nepali Congress has so far collected consensus among its partners on taking around 87 seats in the lower house. However, the party's leadership faction has struggled to settle the intra-party disputes. Coalition partner Janata Samazwadi have expressed dissatisfaction on the proposed equation, saying that the coalition had failed to acknowledge their contribution. Meanwhile, main opposition CPN UML analysts say has failed to both break the pact of the ruling alliance and find a potential alliance for itself. The party has aimed at forging a partnership with Lok Tandrik Samazwadi and Rashtriya Prasadantra Party, among others. And it's time now for our segment Public Pulse, where you text us with your opinion. The question is, why have disputes regarding selection of candidates escalated in parties? Your options are A, many aspirants, B, monopoly of leadership and C, opaque criteria. The voting is on, type NEWS, select your option A, B or C and send it to 34001 to share your opinion with us. In our public voice segment, today we've asked people in several provinces how have they evaluated the five years of their respective provincial governments. Let's take a look at what they had to say. Pradesh Sarkar Swanchalan ma dherek kharcha laga tara tere khasai upalabdi mula kiam gana shakhe ko chenat. Mantri banao ne, ani satta ko khel matri khel ne. Sangya ta IPC jostho rupma des vikas hola banne swaje kuthi jan taliti ona shakhe na. Chilla gari chodni, sar rai ne. That's 
all for the moment. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.